Hello and welcome back to Smoking Dragon Plays Night in the Woods. After uh, doing a bit of exploring in the last episode, we uh, found where our rat, our rat herd has been hiding and we discovered that they have a taco place here now, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to, I guess, go talk with Greg and uh, do, some, do some band practice. And uh, hopefully I'll do better. Probably not, though. Probably not. Where apparently there was a rat or a uh, snake infestation at one time, which was uh, not really good for a uh, diner. It doesn't really help uh, bring in new customers or anything. Here we go. Anything over here? Nope. Let's do some band practice. Well, <clears throat> well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well, look who's who's live and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah. All right. Let's see how well I can do playing the bass. Where is everybody? God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. Oh wow, there's a pentagram on this sticker. I can't read the band name on it. Cops Driller? I guarantee you it's not Cops Driller. Maybe it's like a German band with a name in English. Sounds like that. Guten Tag, we are the cops driller of Dervi of Burdison. Close enough. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. Angus was definitely not at work when we looked. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, especially Angus working at a video store since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think just they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become new people, I think Angus is going to find he's got more options. Geez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So like, how are you? Ah, uh, I'm good. I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads. <laughs> the whole cosmic horror thing? Let's go with the death cult of dads. Or was. Who knows if that was all of them. I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Wow. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. Heh <laughs> heh, yeah. God, I can't even wrap my head around these past two weeks. Has it really been two weeks? It doesn't seem like it. It's been a while, though. I think that's pretty understandable, May. There were these three weird teens, and they told me I'd see a bunch of pentagrams. 
What teens? The ones we bumped into in the graveyard. Oh god, those teens. Anyway, they said if I saw three pentagrams, I'd get some sort of help. I actually saw one at the party we went to, and last night I saw the last one down in the tunnel. And it made me think. You remember Adina and the Frozen Lake? The folktale? The folktale? Yeah, sure. That astronomer under the ice or whatever that couldn't find a star. Until after she died? The ghost star. Just thinking stars are upside down if you're looking at their reflections. That's true. Which is what you'd, you'd, have, you'd have... Which is what you'd see if you were a reflection in the ice. Yeah, I get it. I read the story. I barely noticed it when we were down there last night, but today, just thinking about it, just thinking about that, this feeling like at the end of everything you can hold on to something or anything. Find the spooky ghost star. Put it on a map. Then you, uh, have a map? I don't know. I'm hungry and tired. I feel like, and I feel like I got run over a, by a train that was carrying other trains. I'm really impressed you got all of that out of teens being weird and spooky. I don't know. It meant something to me. Is that enough? Far be it from me to condemn spooky meeting. Spooky. Spooky. No comment. <laughs> so, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah. How did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, we know why. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just there there's just gonna be more of them. Hope springs rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good. How? Good how? Oh, like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about what? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And they sell barbecue. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. I like barbecue, so let's go with that one. I think BBQ is south. Not all of it. It's everywhere. BBQ. All the all different kinds, dry, wet, ultra. I could okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. Seems like a good uh prelude to a sequel. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead dead by then, lol. You have a way of making doom sound like a good, like a lot of fun, May Mayday. That's actually kind of a gift. Uh, here come Angus and Greg. God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey guys. Sup, nerds. Psh, it's you who are the nerds. How did you get Angus out of work? Yeah, how did you get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. Ha ha, wow. I mean, he did in real life, too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably? No. Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what, the truth isn't real enough? No, not really. <laughs> no, you're right, the truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think a song and a I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, when I was down there last night, let's go with the coma, 
I saw the future, or maybe it's now, or maybe it's now the future, or was the future. Like flying cars and shit? Actually, those would be a disaster. Haha, <laughs> finally you admit it. You owe me five bucks. Bet's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or, or some shit. I went to where my house used to be. When I was there, I, could, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second. Then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. <laughs> Song and pizza. Yeah. Good enough. Alright, I guess we're doing this. Maybe. Ah! <laughs> wow, that was uh, really sudden. Um, man. <laughs> That's really the end? I wanted to hang out with my parents and, or hang out with May's parents and see what they were up to and maybe get a little bit more information, but it, um, seemed like that's it. I'll, uh, let the, uh, credits roll. Um, I always do and see if there's anything else afterwards. Um, I really wanted to play, uh, the base one time, try to redeem myself. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. But, um, with that, I guess, uh, Man, this was a pretty fun game. It's, like I said in the very first episode, it's not one that I usually play. Um, kind of like a, uh, you want to call it a 2D walking simulator, but it was a really, really, it was just kind of an interactive story. Um, I like the story. Um, the characters were well developed. They had a lot of uh, feeling to them and uh, good dialogue. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and this, this is... First time I've really recorded myself playing a game like this. I tried doing Skyrim before, um, but I tend to get burned out real quickly, and I've never actually uploaded it. I do have like like ten episodes recording that I might eventually upload. Um, but I don't know. That'd be a long series. This one was uh, pretty long too. Um, wow, what are we on? Thirty-four episodes. Man, that was uh, a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, um, especially given the fact there really wasn't um, really wasn't a lot to kind of a lot of side quests and a lot of stuff you would find in other games like The Witcher or um, Skyrim, for instance. Um, but and I definitely have a lot of respect for people who do these let's plays and stuff on YouTube. Um, it took a lot of time for me. Which is kind of amazing since I did absolutely no editing at all. Um, save for basically throwing everything. And I go the cat. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Throwing everything into. Uh, what is it? Photoshop, uh, Premiere, or something. And then just producing a video. I haven't. I didn't do any uh, like graphics or really any sound editing. <laughs> um, just because I don't really know how. And. Uh, <laughs> Wanted to kind of get these up as soon as possible since the game just came out. We can look at our notebook here. Anything on the last page? Nope. So, anything over here on the left side? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, huh? I guess that's it then. Well, what happens if we do continue? just like a new game or something. Let's find out. Probably uh, starts right before we go into the Snack Falcon, I'm guessing, but we always have to check. Up, oh, starts right at band practice. So, <laughs> rather than uh, sitting through this again, I'll uh, cut the episode. I really appreciate you guys watching this and uh, sitting through this whole game with me. Um, I'll try to do another series again sometime. Not sure what I'll play. Um, maybe something with a little less dialogue that I have to talk, um, <laughs> that I have to read. Um, but it was a fun series and I, I think a good, uh, good way to start. Um, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.